Welcome to this tutorial video on the Delta T ML3 Theta Pro. At the conclusion of this video, you should be able to do three things. One, understand how the ML3 measures soil moisture. Two, installing a Delta T ML3 into the soil. And three, wiring an ML3 probe into a CR1000 data logger. The ML3 Theta Probe from Delta T Services measures soil moisture and soil temperature. The soil moisture portion of the probe is currently the only part the Econet uses. The sensor can be placed at any level in the soil. However, Econet stations measure soil moisture at 20 centimeters or approximately 8 inches below the surface. The sensor works by using electromagnetism. When power is applied to the ML3, the sensor creates a 100 megahertz waveform in the soil, similar to an FM radio. The waveform is applied to the array of stainless steel rods which transmit an electromagnetic field into the soil. The water content of the soil surrounding the rods dominates in permittivity. Permittivity is a measure of the material's response to polarization in an electromagnetic field. The permittivity of the soil has a strong influence on the field, which is detected by the sensor, resulting in a stable voltage output that acts as a simple, sensitive measure of soil moisture content. So in the event we have to send you an ML3, it's going to come in two parts. The first part, this is the sensor itself. It comes in tubing for protection. Like I said, it's got metal spikes on the end of it. The other is the cable itself with the connector. So to install, all you're going to do is install, pull the top on this, and the tube itself says open this end. You want to open that end, otherwise you're pulling the steel, you're going to be grabbing the steel rods, which is something you don't want to do. And all you're going to do is connect these plug in. It plugs in one way and one way only. Don't try to force it any other way. Once it's plugged in, you're going to hand tighten, hand tighten only until it goes no more. Now you're ready to install an ML3. All right, if we're inserting an ML3 probe into the soil, remember those prongs need to get down to about 8 inches because that's where we're making our measurement, or 20 centimeters. However, we're not positioning this uh, sensor vertically or horizontally. We're actually positioning it at a 45 degree angle. So if you need to dig a hole, you're going to probably have to dig it about 5 inches down and make sure it's wide enough so that you can actually tilt the probe 45 degrees. That way when you get to the bottom of that hole and you go to insert the sensor, that angle will get the prongs down to 8 inches. We use this 45 degree angle so that water can pass through. While installing, if you have problems getting it in or you can't get it in all the way, most likely it's rock or concrete or something causing an issue, go ahead and dig another hole and pick another spot. Make sure those go in flush all the way. Don't force it because if you force it, you could cause damage to the sensor. All right, when wiring a Delta T ML3 into a CR1000 data logger, you'll notice there are six cables. Two of them, the black and the gray, are not plugged into the data logger at all. These are for soil temperature readings, so in the future, if we decide to use soil temperature, we would plug those in. The white cable is going to go into the switch 12 volt. This is the power source for the sensor. The blue cable is going to go into A14, analog channel 14. That's the blue number 14 on the CR1000 data logger. That's our output. The green is going to go into the digital ground, or letter G, anywhere on the data logger. And the brown cable is going to go into the analog ground, and the analog ground symbol channel that's open. To review, the Delta T ML3 measures soil moisture at 20 centimeters, or 8 inches, below the surface. The sensor works by creating a 100 megahertz waveform to transmit an electromagnetic field into the soil. The permittivity of the soil influences the electromagnetic field. The sensor detects the permittivity and outputs a stable voltage which can translate to soil moisture content. When installing the ML3, remember these key steps. Before you even insert it into the ground, you're going to need to connect the 9-pin connector to the sensor. When you're digging your hole, dig it approximately 5 inches from the surface. This allows us to, when we insert the probe at a 45 degree angle, that the, the prongs of the probe will be at 8 inches below the surface. Once that's done, remember to bury the cable and the sensor underground back to the base of the tower to avoid any accidental cuts by lawn equipment or animals chewing on the cable.
So when we go to wire an ML3 into a CR1000 data logger, remember the black and gray wires are open. These are for soil temperature and we're not using them at this time. The white wire is going to go into the switch 12 volt channel, the brown wire into the AG or analog ground channel, the blue wire into channel A14, that's our soil moisture output, and the green channel into the digital ground as our shield. That's it for the tutorial video on the Delta T ML3. For more videos, check out climate.ncsu.edu.